All right, first graders. So yesterday we learned all about lions. And today we're going to learn about another animal that likes to live in the savanna with lions, elephants. Let's read and find out how elephants' bodies help them survive. <clears throat> oh, wow. Another table of contents. Authors love to put table of contents in chapter books, but also in informational books. We're gonna learn all about elephants, families, body parts, what elephants need, and where elephants live. All about elephants. <clears throat> An elephant is the biggest animal that lives on land. An adult elephant is much bigger than a truck and can weigh up to 14,000 pounds. A baby elephant is bigger than an adult cheetah. Here's a cheetah. It eats a lot and grows more every day. Wait a minute. A baby elephant is bigger than an adult cheetah? Are you kidding me? <clears throat> there are two kinds of elephants, African elephants and Asian elephants. Although they have the same body parts, there are some differences. They are not the same size. African elephants are bigger. So here's the African elephant, and you can see that they live in the savanna, just like lions. And here's the Asian elephant, and it looks like they live in more of like a foresty green type of area, but I'm not sure. Hopefully we get to find out. <clears throat> An Asian elephant has a rounder head. Huh with a large bump on top. Oh, I do see that. Not all Asian elephants have tusks. These are tusks. See that nice label the author put for us? But all African elephants do. An elephant's tusk is like a large tooth. It grows as the elephant gets older. <clears throat> African elephants live in deserts and plains where the temperature is very warm. They have big ears and wrinkly skin with many lines and folds. This is a close-up picture of elephant skin. It's hot here. Wrinkly skin and big ears help. They let heat leave the elephant's body. Pause. We were reading this book to learn how elephant's bodies help them survive. <clears throat> well, their skin and their big ears help the heat leave the elephant's body. Now we know. Asian elephants live in shady jungles. I knew it was a jungle. Where there are plenty of trees and leaves. Their skin is smooth and their ears are small. It isn't very hot in the, shade, in the shady jungle. Asian elephants don't need special body parts to stay cool. So Asian elephants ears are smaller because they don't need them to stay cool. Their skin is smooth because they don't need it to stay cool. That is so interesting. Look at the elephants and point to the body parts. Then say which African, which is the African elephant and which is the Asian elephant? How do you know? Whoa. So, hmm. Well, I see small ears, so that makes me think this one's the Asian elephant. And I see big ears on this elephant, and that makes me think it's the African elephant. What do you think? Families. Elephants live in family groups called herds. The oldest mother is the leader, but there are other females in the herd too. Babies rest with their mothers. Other elephants make a circle around them, and that keeps them safe. Oh yeah, look, there's the babies. They're resting, and the other elephants kept a circle around them to keep them safe. That's cool. <clears throat> As the ele baby elephant grows, the females in the herd continue to take care of it. They protect the baby from danger. A baby elephant can get stuck in mud. Female elephants pull the baby out. A baby elephant is called a calf. It stays safe by holding on tightly to an older female's tail. Oh wow, look at that. It's like holding hands that people do. The calf stays close to the herd so it doesn't get lost. The herd often travels in a line. 
a calf holds on to the tail in front. Oh, I didn't know that about elephants. They like to travel in a line. I wonder if that helps them stay safe. When a male elephant gets older, he leaves the herd. Female calves stay with the herd. Some male elephants live alone. Some live with other males. Oh, interesting. So a herd is mostly just women and their babies. And, but sometimes male elephants live together, but mostly they don't live with the herd. Your turn. Read the words under each line. Choose the word that finishes each sentence. Tell us about elephant families. Well, we're going to pause on this and save this for a morning meeting. Let's read the next page. Body parts. Elephants use their big ears like fans to cool off when it's hot. They wave their ears to create a breeze. Interesting. That's a way that their body helps them survive. They also wave their ears at insects and the insects fly away. That's important. When elephants sense danger, they hold out their ears to make themselves look bigger. This frightens their enemies. Lions see the elephant's big ears and they are afraid. They run away. Wow. Elephants can scare even lions with their big ears? That's important for survival because a lion, a pack of lions could eat an elephant, but they have their big ears. That helps protect them. Trunks are useful. They're like very long noses but they can do much more than smell things. Elephants use them to scoop food and spray water into their mouths. Elephants like to swim. They use their trunks to breathe underwater. Wow, so their trunks are so important to surviving. It helps them smell. It helps them scoop their food and feed themselves. It helps them get water. And we know that living things need water, food, and air. Elephants also use their trunks to communicate in different ways. A mother wraps her trunk around her baby like a hug. Oh. Young elephants use their trunks to say hello, and then they play. Oh, wow. Even their trunks look different. This is an African elephant. This is an Asian elephant. Elephants have fingers on the end of their trunk. African elephants have two fingers. They use them to grasp. Asian elephants have only one finger. Oh, wow, look at that. They use it to scoop. Elephants pick up small leaves and fruit with their fingers. Look what an elephant does. How do you do these things? Oh, good question. Scratch your back. I use my arm. Eat. I use my hands. Keep flies away. I use my hands. Stay cool. I use my hands for a fan or I get some water. Hmm, interesting. What elephants need? Since elephants are so large, they need, a, they need to eat a lot. Hungry elephants spend many hours every day searching for food. Elephants wake up early to find food. They can eat up to 18 hours each day. Whoa. Elephants are herbivores, which means that they eat plants and not meat. They like to eat grass, leaves, and roots. Sometimes there isn't grass, and elephants pull down small trees so that they can eat the leaves. <clears throat> elephants need to drink a lot of water, too. Although the herd travels to find food, elephants remember where the water holes are. The herd returns to the water, and they drink, splash, and play. Elephants eat plants, not meat. Do you eat meat or plants or both? Tell which of these foods come from plants. Hmm. Well, the lettuce comes from plants. The tomato comes from plants. The wheat from the bread comes from plants. Tomato is a plant. A fish is not a plant. Lettuce is a plant. And potatoes are a plant. Where elephants live, there are approximately... <gasps> 470,000 African elephants in the wild, living in 37 countries south of the Sahara. Wow, here's the African elephant. 
There are about 50,000 Asian elephants living in 13 countries through Asia. <clears throat> the elephant population has been in decline. That means going down. But many organizations are working hard to help save them. That's good. That's all. Wow. We learned a lot about elephants and how their bodies help them survive. Next, I want you to go to your writing assignment and it looks just like this. And you're gonna write, how do elephants' bodies help them survive? Elephants' bodies help them survive. One way is, tell me one way. Another way is, tell me another way. For example, <clears throat> that's when you connect it to your another reason is. For example, why did what you just say help them survive? Why is that important? That's how elephants' bodies help them survive. I can't wait to see what you write. We'll see you tomorrow to learn about another animal.